If you're looking for your next dessert adventure, here it is. Now I've tried choco flan, canafe cheesecake, and I wanted to take it to the next level and try canafe flan. You're gonna start with a third pack of shredded phyllo dough and shred it to your liking. Then you're going to melt half a cup of butter and add some food coloring if you want. I like to add it because it shows me how well my butter is incorporated with the dough. So you're going to add it into your phyllo dough and mix it really well. You should end up with this. Next we're going to prepare our flan. So we're going to mix a can of evaporated milk with sweetened condensed milk, six eggs, some cream cheese, and instead of vanilla that's usually used, I put in a little bit of rose and orange blossom water. Then choose the pan you want to make it in. Pour in your flan mixture, and then you add your shredded phyllo dough on top. It should float. Next, you're going to prepare a water bath station. So this is my makeshift water bath. The pan on the bottom is to help me transport it to the oven. And then you're going to add some water in there and bake it for one hour at 350. While it's baking, prepare your simple syrup. It's basically sugar and water and you can infuse some rose or orange blossom water if you like into it. Now once your cake has baked for an hour, you're going to remove the foil and broil it for a couple minutes. And then we're going to add our simple syrup. You don't need to put all of it, but you, it depends on your preference for sweet. Next, you're going to garnish your cake. I'm using crushed pistachios and rosebud tea. And there she is. You're going to refrigerate it for a few hours until it gets colder and solidifies. And it cuts like a sponge cake with a nice creamy flan bottom. It's a definite crowd pleaser. You have to try this out.